Space Invaders. Space Invaders, of course, is a game that doesn't need any introduction. So let's just skip the usual bloody bloody where I just repeat what everybody already knows about this game. Instead, let's just have a bit of a look at this. And, do you see what I mean? If your answer is something along the lines of this isn't really Space Invaders, then my friend, we are in agreement. Sure, the gameplay is similar enough, but if you're being honest, both optics and gameplay differ notably from the arcade original. For starters, instead of just appearing on the screen, here the infamous invaders enter from the left by exiting a rocket-shaped spaceship. The famous shields, usually located between the invaders and our cannon, are missing. And finally, none of the alien sprites carry the iconic space invaders look. That last bit in particular once led me to believe that this game got developed before Atari had struck a licensing deal with Taito. I mean, seems plausible enough, doesn't it? Considering how common that practice was throughout the early 80s. However, turns out that wasn't the case here. When Rob Fulop started working on this port, he knew that this would be an official Space Invaders game. There was no need for him to disguise the game as something else. Thing is, he just didn't care about staying true to the original. His desire was the exact opposite, namely, quote, putting my mark on something, stretching my newly minted designer wings, end quote. Luckily for Fulop, at the time there was nobody looking over his shoulder and checking his work. According to his own testimony, once he had handed the game in, nobody even bothered to look at his version and compare it to the original. Atari being Atari, they just released it. <laughs> First on tape, later on cartridges as well. And thus, here we are. Funnily enough, when you look closely at the 5200 version of Space Invaders, you can clearly see that although the sprites have been altered, the rocket ship removed, and the before-mentioned shields included, the game still starts off in Fulop's way, with the aliens entering the screen from the left. What shall I say? Atari was never shy to cut corners, I guess. And now to the biggest of all questions. Is Fulop's version of Space Invaders better than more faithful ports, or even the original? Well, it's definitely easier in my opinion, since you can focus on taking out the aliens row by row. I wouldn't call it better. In fact, even Rob Fulop considers it to be inferior compared to the original. Though as far as Space Invaders ports go, this one is pretty unique and for that reason alone, worth a shot. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please like, subscribe and press the bell notification icon. And as always, stay tuned.